In this screencast, we're going to take a look at a couple of the performance improvements for the ASP.NET page and tab controls in the DXperience version 2010.2 release. Now the improvements are related to the semantic rendering of a couple of the controls. But this effort didn't start in 10.2. It actually started in 10.1 with some of our other controls, the ASP.NET menu, navbar, and pager. Now what the semantic HTML rendering does is improves performance because HTML output is reduced. So in essence, we're going from using tables for some of these items to using things like list elements or div elements. Now, it also helps with accessibility as well as search engine optimization. Now, we did some benchmarks to show you what the difference are. And in 10.1, we saw dramatic improvements in many of the controls. For example, the menu was a huge increase above 50% as well as the navbar pager and the other controls like the grid view and the filter control that use these other controls embedded within them also get performance enhancements. And in 10.2, we've added this to the page and tab controls, and their increase is quite significant as well. So to enable this property, you simply have to set one render mode property from classic to lightweight. So let's take a look at it in Visual Studio. Here, I've got a blank page. Now let's add a ASPX page control to this. Now you can find this in the toolbox under DX 10.2 navigation and layout under the ASPX page control. I'll double click to add it. Now I'm going to add a few tab pages. Click OK. Now let's just take a quick look at this in action. Now here we've got the page control. Now let's just take a look at the properties of this page and we'll see that the size of the page is about 755 bytes. And if we were to take a look at the page source, we'll see that the page source uses tables. Now, let's just take a look at how we can switch this to use the new semantic HTML. So I'll go to the properties of the ASPX page control, and we'll simply set the render mode from classic to lightweight. Now, you may be wondering why classic is the default. Well, that's because we didn't want to turn it on because of backward compatibility. All of the DevExpress ASP.NET controls are XHTML and cross-browser compliant. So we've left the option to you to switch this render mode. Now let's take a look at this again in the browser. Now we switch the render mode to lightweight and we still get the same great look and feel and all of the features. And if I right click and take a look at the properties of the page again, we'll see the page size has gone significantly down from 755 bytes to 3,673 bytes. And if we take a look at the page source, we'll see that it uses the div and list UI elements instead of using the table elements. Now, finally, I want to mention that there are a couple of minor restrictions when using lightweight rendering. For example, you'll probably have to make the alignment between text and images a little more carefully using CSS classes. And one specific example is with the ASPX menu. When you use lightweight rendering there, you're not going to get shadows in the submenus. Now, as I mentioned, those are minor restrictions. And if you have any problems, please feel free to contact our support team by going to devexpress.com/support. Thanks for watching.